Good morning, you fine person. Ontario. We're going to take Highway 11 all the way through Ontario into Manitoba where I still got to figure out whether or not I'm dropping this load in Manitoba or if I am going all the way to Alberta with it. I haven't heard anything and I'm filming this on a Saturday now so I'm guessing I'm probably going right through to Alberta. But the thing is we're going to that site that doesn't allow me on their site because I have a beard and mainly right now because I've been to the US in the last 14 days because of the whole virus they don't want me on their site. So we have to have a driver meet me there again. So I bring the load to the site. We have a driver meet me there. He brings it onto the site, delivers it, and then brings the trailer back to me empty, and then I go get my reload. I think that's how we're going to do it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay. I'll show you the load. If you've forgotten what we're hauling, we're hauling that wide load of steel. We're 10 feet wide. We got six plates of steel under these tarps. And it weighs, just the seal weighs 56,000 pounds. So we got the tri-axle. So we're having fun. Got our signs out here and everything. Fancy little, little look at me flags. Everybody look at me, okay? Seriously, look at me. Don't hit me. Stay out of the way, please. These flags are here for your protection, not mine supposed to warn you that hey something a little bigger than usual is coming through maybe you should put your phone down and pay attention eh? how about that and in, I guess who am I to tell you what to do right let's get on the road so we just went through Cochrane here in Ontario and we're taking highway 11 obviously because with this heavy freight I don't like pulling it up those steep hills on the 17 a little further around about 50 kilometers or 30 miles further to go this way but it saves wear and tear on your engine when you're hauling this heavy of freight this is a much flatter road and you probably actually save fuel as well if not burn about the same the only downside is that uh, there's little to no passing lanes and this is a much more secluded highway so if the worst were to happen, you were to break down on this highway, it uh, might take a little longer for help to get to you. There's no real shoulders either to park on either, so you got to block the lane of traffic and hope no one hits you. But it is what it is. Campus Casing, Ontario. This is where we will have our shower. A nice hot shower. This guy's backing in so crooked. Dude, what are you trying to do? What are you doing? <laughs> oh boy. All right, I would like to turn around and coming back into this spot right here in front of me. Uh, maybe there's room over here. That's a long wheelbase for this little Volvo here, eh? It looks kind of funny. You'd expect that wheelbase on like a classic truck, but all right, whatever. I'd take it. Smoother ride that way. I'm back in right here beside Mr. Day and Ross with your fancy little bumper. Do my best not to hit you. So this isn't an ad, but I love this app that Pilot Flying J has. Works both sides of the border. I can reserve a shower right from here in my truck, and I'm in line right now. One guy in front of me. The app will ding and tell me when my shower is ready. So I don't have to go and wait inside there. I can just wait in my truck. If you're wondering if the Flying Jays are exactly the same in Canada as they are in the US, yes, they are. This is just a mini one. It's got all the same things that every other Flying J has, just uh, in smaller quantities. I think they have four showers in here, three or four showers. But everything else is exactly the same for the most part, except you gotta pay with Monopoly money. But they do accept American money. 
So this is that stretch of highway I was talking about. It's pretty remote. Not much going on here. Very poor cell signal. You want to make sure you got lots of fuel before you come down here. And even if you got a very reliable vehicle, always make sure you got food, water, and lots of fuel when you come down here. Just in case, you never know if there's going to be something on the road blocking the road, if there's an accident, or uh, God forbid you hit the ditch or something, and you need to be prepared in all weather conditions. In the wintertime, you should have warm clothes with you and blankets. Just in case your vehicle stops running, you got to have a way to keep warm until help comes. And if you're stuck in traffic, you're going to want to have lots of food and fuel to stay warm or cool in the summertime. This is Highway 11 between Hearst and Long Lac. This is where you uh, you want to be prepared. It's not the end of the world. It's not, it's not the remote. It's not like the Australian Outback or something, but it's the closest thing we got here in Canada. It's, uh, it's just something to be aware of when you're coming through. And look at the shoulders here. This is what I was telling you, right? If I break down here, I got nowhere to park. I got to park right in the lane. That means I block the highway. And then once the sun goes down, I mean, I have my triangles out, my beacons on and stuff, just to, my four ways flashing, but still, you know people don't pay attention as much as you tell them to. So pay attention. morning everybody we're stopping here uh, just before thunder bay in ontario on our way westbound Gonna grab us some fuel need to fuel this bad girl up okay let's see what's going on here oh look at that they got a pump open just for trucker josh wow it's got my name on it it's very small you can't see it but it's there Someone left this washer handle right in the... I'm gonna have to bump it with my mirror. Oh, 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 no, we made it past, okay. All right, let's fuel up and let's get going on our day. It's going to be a good day today, right? Even though my stress level is like up here, we're gonna make it a good day. I'll let the good world know that I am fueling right now. There we go, everybody knows. Government always wants to know what I'm doing. Nosy people. So my truck is still not at 100%. It's still getting some air into the fuel, I think. When I pull this heavy load up the hills, it still feels like it's sucking air into the fuel. And it's so frustrating because I've, I've dropped a lot of money into this tr truck and I brought it to Volvo more than once now, a couple times, several times, a few times, for this problem. And every time they said that they fixed it, Every time, it turns out, they didn't. And it doesn't matter what shop I go to. I've tried like three, four different shops already. All of them disappointed me. All of them. So, that's why I say my stress level's up to here. That's why I've been talking about stress a lot lately because not only do we have this virus and pandemic sweeping across the world, I've also got a truck that's very cranky right now and mechanics that are charging me 100 to 150 dollars an hour to do nothing i bring it there pay them a lot of money to fix my truck and every time it is not fixed 
So yes, Trucker Josh has his braking limit and I am this close, this close to just losing my mind. So just, <sighs> deep breath, let's fuel up the truck and let's go home. Alrighty, Dryden, Dryden, Dryden. Dryden, Dryden. I got an uncle who lives here too. I got uncles and aunts everywhere. I got a big family. I think there's over 200 of us just on my dad's side. 17 brothers and sisters in his family. Plus his mom and dad, 19 in that family. From one man and one woman. I know, right? Can I get my wide load through this? Oh dear, what did I get myself into here? Oh man. Can I get through here? I can get my truck through here. This is a weird angle. Oh yeah, look at this. Trucker Josh, he's got it. He's got it. Lots of room. Lots of room. I'm only 10 foot wide. Come on. Can't believe you doubted me. So, I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx it, but I'm going to tell you anyways, the truck has been running great today. I don't understand it. What a cranky... Oh, what's a good word for it? You know what I'm thinking. What a cranky girl she is. There you go. There's a YouTube friendly term. What a cranky girl this truck is. Like, I don't know why she was so upset with me. But today she seems to be in a better mood. So I don't know. I don't understand women. But you gotta love them, right? You can't live without them. Gotta love them. Yes, my truck is a woman. What? This is my other wife. My wife back at home has to share me with this one. I'm a popular guy, what can I say? just joking around. There's at least one of you out there who thinks I'm serious. I'm just joking around. <laughs> Let's tell everybody that we're going to go and do a load check here. You can tell I'm in a good mood, or I, I should say, you can tell my truck is running good because I'm in a good mood. I thought we were going back to the shop. No. Not today, not tomorrow. We're going back to work. Make some money so that we can pay for the next time we have to go to the shop. That is my life now. Why is my engine so hot? Oh, because I'm pulling 53,000 pounds, that's right. Why are you so heavy? So we got back and uh, I had to take all my equipment off it, right? Because uh, I'm not taking this load out to Alberta. However, the load still had to be tarped. <laughs> so I went and found two old damaged tarps and I tacked them on there with a few bungees so that the next guy, whoever he may be or she, well, they can use those tarps if they want. I took them off the damaged pile. They don't look damaged to me though, but at least the freight will stay dry out of the rain. And when they come to hook onto it, hey, there's already tarps on it. All they gotta do is bungee it up. Bada bing, bada boom, throw some straps over the top if they wanna do it over the tarps. And they got a little bit of a head start. It'd be nice if the equipment would all stay with the trailer, right? Then I could have just left the trailer and took it off, but I have to keep all my equipment. I paid for it. So, it's fine. So. <laughs> Whoever's hooking onto it, it will be hooking onto it tomorrow. So, it won't be there for long. At least it'll be dry and out of the elements. I'm in Blumenort here right now, and they always have this lineup of trucks that are for sale. What's this? What's this? It's a, it's a Kenworth W900 with a studio sleeper. What's this? For sale. She looks pretty nice. Wonder what they want for her. Hey boys, let's go out, come on. Chevy. 
Missed you, bud. Where's Diesel? He went down here somewhere. United States Secret Service. <laughs> it's a secret. Spring has definitely sprung here at home. Oh, a whole bunch of deer over there. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, must have woke them up. Shoot, if I would have known they were there, we could have snuck up on them, got a little closer. Ah. Shoot. They always sleep down here by the creek. I let them, whatever. I'm a generous man. So today's vlog was kind of all over the place, wasn't it? A little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, we came all the way from North Bay all the way home. Uh, combined it all into one video. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot lately, just on my mind and with the truck and everything. And there's more to show you in the future about that for sure. Uh, big changes happening soon that you can look forward to and the vlogs will get back on track but uh i'm doing okay i feel a lot better now uh, i've worked out everything and it's all gonna start getting better the truck's been giving me a lot of problems but we're at home and uh i hope you guys did enjoy this vlog if not i can promise you they're gonna get better looking forward to that so I'll talk to you later uh, that Kenworth don't worry we're just dreaming we're not gonna go and buy it <laughs> nope uh, had about had about it up to here with this Volvo already I don't need to go and buy another headache mm. I'm gonna enjoy the spring morning here and we'll see you in my next vlog I'm sorry if this one sort of seemed kind of all over the place and jumping from one place to the next. We're going to make a lot of effort in the coming weeks to make them better and uh, make them flow a little bit better, like they used to. I'm happy with where I'm at now, so... We'll see you later. Thanks for watching.